Hi everybody, we're going to do a speed test here. Um, as I drive the hell out of here, obviously it's not letting me connect to the 5G network. The millimeter wave towers that they have here in downtown. In 300 feet, turn left onto North St. Mary Street. Thanks. Take the okay, so right now I'm just looking for millimeter wave towers around here, but I don't think they're allowing me to connect to the millimeter wave. However, their LTE speeds are really good in this area specifically because we're near the millimeter wave. They have millimeter wave towers around here, but they're just not letting me connect to them. And I think there's 5G here too, but it's spotty. But I, I could have sworn I saw some 5G um, service here. It's just not going to let me connect to it because uh, I don't know weird but they're not letting me connect to it and I guess that's fine but we're just gonna do a speed test until I get back to where I need to get to to get some get some grub I guess oh wow it went 5g LTE 5g LTE 5g so there's uh, there's 5g here maybe I, I I don't even know anymore so like I said, 5G technically is in San Antonio, but it changes from LTE to 5G to LTE. It's not even stable. It's just really weird. It's it's pretty much activated here. There's just no ultra wideband. It's extremely weird, man. It's just switching all over the place. I've actually never seen anything like this. This is gonna be a really fun video because it just keeps switching back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Oh, there's no, no right turn on red. I don't know why it keeps doing that. LTE 5G, LTE 5G. Never seen anything like that. They got, they got a lot of things to fix. I guess there was only LTE 5G in downtown San Antonio. And it was very spotty. I have no idea. You know, it's just weird. 5G. LTE 5G. LTE 5G. LTE 5G. Yo, why is it switching that fast? Oh my god, they got a major problem at Verizon. It's I think it's better just to keep it off, but uh, I didn't know it was this bad. <laughs> it can't maintain a 5G signal. It ain't my phone, but it's funny. Because I've never had this problem with T-Mobile's 5G or AT&T. Never. I don't know what the hell's going on. But it's spotty. <laughs> okay, I guess that's no more 5G. I guess that was it. Just one little area. G, LTE. What is wrong with Verizon's 5G service? That's not even normal, is it? LTE 5G LTE wow they got a they got a major problem LTE 5G LTE 5G yeah they got a major problem because I've never had that there's never been a problem with AT&T or T-Mobile I'm pretty sure it's a known problem by now but that is hilarious
It's hilarious. They got a lot of problems they need to fix. activated. Uh, 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 did it just go back to LTE? Oh, fuck. Wow, San Antonio has a uh, Verizon 5G. Didn't even know. Interesting. says 5G. Because AT&T and T-Mobile did a better job on this. 
I don't even know if it's 5G or LTE. Look at that, look at that, look at that switching. They don't, they don't know what it wants. <laughs> it doesn't know if it wants LTE or 5G. What, what is it want? But the LTE is a lot faster. I don't even know what it wants to connect to. Well, I guess I'll just keep it on LTE for a few months until they fix it. See, it's a lot faster on LTE. I guess as you're leaving a 5G cell site, it, I guess it's sporadic at 5G and then LTE. It's not even that fast. Wow. Now it says 5G again. They said up to 200 megabits. Now yeah, there's your 200 megs. Is it gonna do that weird switching again? It's kinda gonna do that weird switching again. <laughs> it's not even faster than LTE. That's good, but I think I think Verizon could have done a better job. switching to switching, that probably means that it's going to go to LTE only now. Is that what it means? When you're getting low in a low, low 5G area, it's going to switch. 
it's, but I'm on a freeway. I shouldn't be switching at all. That's my only biff. Man, these 5G speeds suck. Well, that's the fast upload speeds I've seen. 27, I mean, that's 28. That was pretty fast for Verizon. Because no, Verizon just doesn't have good upload speeds. Unless you're like in Florida, where it's like 50 megabit. AT&T has 50 megabit upload speeds here, though. But not, not here, for some reason. So, Verizon 5G. Now the latency is a bit of an issue, I guess, on getting download speeds, but I promise you, I've been using Visible long enough, their speeds are just not that good. Unfortunately, Verizon ain't what it used to be. They only give you like 20 megabit upload. If you're lucky, you'll get 25 megabit upload, but I've never seen 30 megabit upload. Oh, wait, we're going to hit that right now. Look at that, 30 megabit upload, wow. Wow, on Verizon? Okay, that, that's not every day, and very uncommon to hit that here. That's actually pretty impressive, actually, because you don't usually see 30 megabit upload speeds um, on Verizon in this area. So I guess the 5G gave it a little bit more speed. Not much, but a little bit more. I was shocked to see 30. Because that's not the usual upload speed. Wow, 30 megabit upload on Verizon. Huh. That is rare. Let me tell you what. That shit is rare, though, for real. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But hitting 30 megabit upload is rare for Verizon. So I guess when you switch into an LTE only area, it'll flicker. I guess until they fix all that in the future, that's going to be a common issue. Like AT and T doesn't have that. It just kind of switches from 5G. And then it goes to LTE. They do have 5G out here. I'm shocked that they do. It's impressive. But I've never seen 30 megabit upload. Not this area. Never. So I guess they're getting somewhere, I guess. But it's usually like 25 to 26. But yeah, that's yeah LTE only now. See, see now we're back in an LTE only area of the city. See, so it's very sporadic that 5G coverage, I guess. But you ain't gonna see that every day. I won't tell you what right now. It's not every day that you see uh, that kind of speeds. No T E only. Have Verizon upload speed 10 meg. Such slow speeds, even at six o'clock in the morning. Uh, Verizon, Verizon, AT and T just kicks your butt. 
speed wise, AT&T just destroys. Uh, I, mean, I know it's visible, but still, even with prepaid, I get the same exact speeds. There's no 5G in this area, huh? Wow. No 5G in this area. Thank you guys for watching.